What is up guys, it is Barry Michael Doyle here and we are doing part 3 of the JavaScript Arcade Solutions that I'm doing in ECMAScript 6. Now the solution is, uh, well the challenge is to check for a palindrome. It's your typical intern interview question, so this might help you if you're planning to go to an interview anytime soon. So let's dive straight in. Right, so here we are at the Code Fights website and if you haven't signed up for an account yet, there's an invitation link in the description of this video below. Anyway, let's head back into the arcade, and we are going straight into the intro, and we're doing the third challenge today. So, that would be this, whoop, it's always sending me far down there to where I haven't gone before. One day we'll be down there, and that will be great. Anyway, here we are at the third challenge. Let's click on that. So, here we are, and the description here is, we are given a string, and we want to check if it is a palindrome. Now, that shows you a link to what a palindrome is. Uh, not sure where that goes, but it will tell you what a palindrome is. So, let me just explain to you what a palindrome is. A palindrome is a word that is the same way forwards as it is backwards. So, if re you reverse the word, then you will get a palindrome. An example of that is lol. And uh, I'm trying to think of other stuff, like... Flip. You get the word, um, the name Hannah, that's a palindrome, pretty cool. I mean, unfortunately, if you have capital H, it's not really a palindrome, like a true palindrome. But yeah, that's that's a nice word, that's palindrome. And yeah, you get tons of other palindromes. They would actually mention them here. Um, there's an example, the A-A-B-B-A-A -A -A over there, or even just 1-B. That works too. Anyway, you get the point. It's If you say it forwards and you say it backwards, they're the same thing. So that's it's a palindrome if that's the case. Uh, example of what's not a palindrome is my name, Barry. It is not the same forwards as it is backwards. So just bear that in mind. That's what a palindrome is. And we are going to solve this problem. So yeah, they give you an example of what it is. They say they're going to give you the input string of whatever string you want to do. A string is a string of characters. And the output should be true or false, depending on whether or not it's a palindrome. So for that, that's not a palindrome. The output would be false. And uh, one letter strings are always palindromes because forwards and backwards, one letter is the same thing. So those are always going to be palindromes. But yes, we have our usual time constraint, 4,000 milliseconds. And our input string, uh, that's just one string. It's these things mentioned here. And we know that the string is not going to be longer or well, shorter than one character and longer than 10 to the power of five characters. So that's that's quite a lot. Um, so that, that's like 10,000. Now, anyway, we want the output of true or false. So we want a Boolean output. Now, there's no straight up JavaScript function that will give us the reverse like of a string so how are we going to figure that out now if you think about things i'm not sure how well you know your javascript but we have things such as arrays and an array array can be reversed so if you have like a list of numbers one two three four you can call the if you say that array dot reverse uh it's going to give you a new array called what four three two one because it's all reversed so what we could do is we could convert our string to an array of characters and then reverse the array and then convert it back to a string so we can check if it's a palindrome so i hope you kind of grasp what's going on here but what we're going to do is we are going to make a new constant called reverse string we're calling it a constant because this is not going to change after we say it the first time so i'm just going to say string we're going with the standards here because there they have input string and there we have reverse string so we want this reverse string to equal and i'm going to put this on a new line because it's going to be quite long what we want to do is we want to take the input string and we want to split it into an array so to convert a string into an array you use the split command and you insert the parameter of just an empty empty string. Now, after that, this basically, it returns an array of things. So if we head down here to our code, if I had the input string 
uh, equal my name. I can't even equal things. If that equaled Barry, then input string dot split uh, with these in there would equal an array that was an array of characters. So an array B and A and R. And well, you kind of get the point now, but I, I'm stuck in my ways and I want to do that. So there we have our array of characters, which spell out my name. Now, what you could do onto this is from there, you could say dot reverse. So we reverse this and then suddenly this whole thing becomes the other way around. So the Y goes down here, the B goes to the end. Kind of a long process, but you get the point. But at least I can swap these around and it should work. So well, this was quite tedious. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, we have this great thing here. Oh, left something out there. So now we have Y, R, R, A, B, and that's our reverse string. Now the final thing you want to do is to join it back into a string. So let me just put the result of this onto a new line. And this is actually supposed to be called as a function. So already we can say dot reverse, and we're almost there. Now the final thing, if we were to say dot join, and you got to add the parameter of an empty string here, this would change into yrab, because that's my name backwards. And then we can check if things are working or not. So anyway, we're going to go join this now. Oops. And now we have our reverse string. I'm going to get rid of those comments there because we know how this works now. So it basically splits the string into an array, then reverses the array of characters that it's been split into, and then joins them back up again. And that gives us our reverse string. Now we have to return true or false, depending on whether or not the reverse string is equal to the input string. So this is simple. We can just make a Boolean expression here. We could say input string equals 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 reverse string. Now this is pretty straightforward. Basically, if the input string is equal to the reverse string, this will return true. If not, it will return false. So there we go. We've actually got our program running. We can run this test and it will work. Although, so it does work perfectly. I want to do the final thing of splitting this up into making it perfect for ES6. So oh, I've typed in ES6 and not even really figured out what's going on. So what I want to do is make this a constant function. And we're going to make it equal. This input string is just one parameter, so we don't need those brackets. And we turn this into an arrow function. And there we go. This is our ES6 solution. So because we're actually doing stuff inside, we can't do the whole just return that value there. So we have to keep it in curly brackets. And this is how you would do that. So I can still run this test and it would work perfectly fine. And we can submit it and it should be working. Anyway, this is going to be really useful for you guys if you want to... Oh, it's actually perfect and working. There we go. 33,891 uh, position. Good job, me. Nobody's voted on my thing because I just made the solution. So, guys, uh, this is really good for you if you're practicing interviews. Um, I want to mention all of these are really great for you. If you're practicing for interviews for a job in programming, you should be writing these down in front of family members. Write down the problem and then just make up a solution or even practice it on a whiteboard. But even if you just practice it on a piece of paper on a wall to demonstrate your knowledge of the topic, this will help you so much in prepping for interviews. Uh, that would be everything for this video today though, guys. I will catch you guys tomorrow in the next video or whenever you're watching this. I'm trying to release videos daily. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to the video if you enjoy it and comment. That really means a lot. Your feedback is the best. Anyway, guys, cheers.